Welcome back to the Perfect Balance channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so when we do drop any videos, you're notified straight away. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share it to as many people in your community as possible. Uh, let's help grow the channel and yeah, share the love. So in this video, I want to discuss about goal setting. I spoke about motivation in the previous video and self-discipline motivation and self-discipline in the last video. In this video, I want to talk about goal setting. Do you set goals? Do you set short-term, medium-term, long-term goals? I know that personally, this is me personally, I do set goals, but I find that I sort of let myself down in terms of not writing them down and having that sort of practice of visually looking at my writing my goals that i have set and then looking at them every single day i tend to keep the the sort of mental note aspect of short term this is what i want to do medium term this is what i want to do long term this is what i want to do and it's not just in training it can be in aspects of life do you have one goal do you have multiple goals um it's my personal belief this is just my opinion that I don't think you should have more than three goals in in terms of any any sort of aspect, whether it be short, medium, or or long term. If you want to have one of each, then that's great. But you could have three short term, three medium, uh, and play around with sort of sort of however you wish to sort of categorize the the distance of 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 the goals. But yeah, I just think that. If you don't have goals, you don't really have a plan going forwards in life, whether whether it be through training or business, lifestyle, with family, etc. etc. If you don't have if you don't have goals, you don't have a plan going forwards. It's more about the the organization and sort of the drive that we've we've spoke about on this channel a few a few times. If you see your goal and you've not got that ticked off, it's just that 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 extra sort of discipline again and that drive to, to succeed and get that done. And it's it's one step at a time. It can take longer than you think. Some goals for some people are unrealistic. We should always dream big, but have a little bit of realism in there with, with some of the other goals. So have that unrealistic goal, that big goal that you, you're definitely never going to achieve. But if it gets you a 30% of the way there then it's better than zero percent it's better than standing still so yeah i just think it's it's hugely important people just go through life and they just sort of like even in fitness some some people they don't they don't have a plan they don't understand they don't know what they're doing and they just think they can they can wing it and get by and sort of accidentally come across new achievements and and sort of new accomplishments but in the short term yeah in in anything that you do in the short term you'll you'll sort of you'll get away with um uh, certainly in our world in the fitness world you'll get away with new personal bests or new times or you know new strength improved cardio in the short run you'll get away with that but obviously once you start chipping away you start crafting and molding yourself into into say if you if you if you're a weight loss and you've managed to get yourself as as far down as you as you sensibly can that is and and you ret you retain uh, a good body composition then i'm assuming you wouldn't you wouldn't just sit there the next goal would be to right can we add composition of, of muscle mass can we can we add some weight back on but good weight in terms of, of muscle mass and then what comes with that is 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 strength and if performance is is what you're looking to improve then you're gonna get a, a sort of double reward in terms of of adding that that muscle mass but if you just sit on one goal and you start getting towards that tipping point where you plateau and it's a big word that people talk about a lot of time, if you plateau. It basically just means that the difficulty is getting harder and harder to sort of retain or progress in whatever aspect it might be. So 
like I say, if we're sticking with, with weight loss, you can only lo lose so much weight, you can only get down to so much weight before it becomes obviously dangerous and it becomes a health risk. So like in the example I've just given there, the next goal should be to add muscle mass or to add strength to your to your weights and your lifts or to uh, learn obviously a new gymnastics skill or increase your gymnastics repetitions or increase and improve times and in, in, in the cardio aspect because you feel a lot lighter but if we stand still and we sort of don't have a goal a new goal and set new goals after that we'll have a lot of frustrated people we'll have people that maybe go through reversibility in terms of putting weight back on because mentally they're not happy they're not making more and more progress um so yeah you've always got to keep keep renewing keep looking back if you've ticked one off rethink and re-add to to the list of three um there will be ups and downs, and I said this in the last video when it comes to motivation as well. There will be ups and downs, it will be a roller coaster. But if we can keep a higher up than the downs, then eventually you're going to get it's cliche, but you are going to get the, the the graph that we all see where it goes up and down, but it's continuously moving up more up than it is down. And if we can continue to do that and, and we can goal set appropriately and correctly then uh, not just in the gym but outside the gym then moving forwards you know it's a it's it's happy life it's happy mentally physically spiritually uh yeah i'd stick with the, the advice i would give us i'd stick with with three goals and in any distance just stick with three don't over complicate it and I wouldn't have one for the sake of that added pressure. If you just have one goal, you're gonna wake up every day thinking, "Right, well, I've just, I've just got to do, I've just got to get this," and it can get a little bit messy. Whereas I think if you, if you have three, and say you have one of the three that are achievable every single day, and then you've got one that is semi-achievable every say couple of weeks to a month. And then you've got that long term, long, long, ultimate, maybe unrealistic goal that I said at the start of the video. Then you just drive forward. You end up driving through. You end up trying to break through those plateaus and breaking through the walls. We've all we've all heard that saying before. But it's how we move forward slowly. We take one step forwards at a time, and it's how we it's how we progress in in all realms of of life. Like I said before. So yeah, uh, that's just my take on goal setting. Do you goal set? Leave a comment down below. Like this video, share this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.